Hi, welcome to the Yoga Studies Institute. I'm Nicole, and today I'll be guiding you through a one-hour yin yoga class. In this class, we're going to go directly into the poses and hold them between three to five minutes. So in yin yoga, we hold the poses for an extended period of time without warming up the body. And this activates different parts of the body, like the myofascial tissue, the ligaments, the bones, the joints. And it brings, refreshes the energy in the body, promotes a healthy flow in the body, releases toxins, and also promotes flexibility. So let's set our intention for the class, bringing our hands to our heart center. Let's dedicate our class to deeply understanding these teachings of the Yoga Sutra so we can reach ultimate happiness. And we can help others reach ultimate happiness through the tools that they need to reach this success. And when you're ready, let's go into our first pose. We're gonna go into a wide-legged uh, child's pose. So bringing our knees to the sides of the mat and keeping our feet together. Bringing our, our ourselves back onto our feet and bringing our chest and either our forehead or chin to the mat. And we'll be here for about four minutes. So just relax. Come into stillness. Come into the present moment. And just watch the sensations in the body. Maybe feeling some energy releasing, some energy suppressed in this pose. See if you can notice where the energy is flowing. Maybe you can feel the cool air coming in as you inhale through the nostrils, feeling the body expand, and exhaling the warm air through the nostrils, relaxing the body. Maybe hearing your heartbeat this is your time to connect with your body, letting everything else go for now. One of the, the first yogic power, also Master Patanjali talks about in the Yoga Sutra, is faith or belief in the practice. By really surrendering this moment to our practice and through this wisdom of 
where our reality is coming from. We're planting very beautiful seeds for our reality. One more minute here. Slowly coming out of child's pose, coming into tabletop, tucking our toes under, and coming to sit back on our heels here. Tuck your little pinky toes under, bringing your shoulders back, closing the eyes, relaxing the body. Connecting with the breath. We'll be here for three minutes. to the sensations of the body, to the breath. To the heartbeat. Feeling the sensations in the feet. Just really good pose for bringing new energy to the feet. Giving them a little love for all the work they do for us all day. Try to keep your mind on the present moment. So bring your left foot up towards the sky 
and then stepping it outside of your left hand. So you can bring your knee down here. You can also put a pillow or a blanket under your knee. And then you can release the foot. So you have a couple more options here with the arms. You can keep your arms extended or you can bring some pillows here, bring your forearms down or bring your forearms down all the way down to the mat or bringing your chest down towards the floor. Take whatever option feels good for you. If you feel like you've gone a little too far, then grab some props or extend those arms. So we'll be here for four minutes on each side. Coming into stillness. And letting everything else go. Connecting with the sensations of the body. Maybe you feel the energy flowing more on one side or the other. If any thoughts come up, any negative thoughts, just try to use this wisdom and compassion. Realizing they're coming from your past seats. And then coming back into the present moment and rejoicing on the good that you're doing right now. Through our asana practice and by bringing our mind onto this wisdom of where our reality is coming from. Being compassionate to ourselves and others, we're planting very powerful seeds to see a beautiful reality. Two more minutes here. If your leg goes to the side a little bit, that's completely fine. Just let gravity do the work for you in these poses. Let's try connecting with the breath. See what's coming up for you. One more minute here, you're doing great.
Okay, slowly you can come up to the arms. Maybe move any props you need to to the side. And then tuck those right toes under. And we're gonna go back to downward facing dog. Holding here. Maybe walking the dog out a little bit. And then coming into a reverse Shavasana. Lower yourself down to the mat. And bring your cheek to the mat. And just watch. See if you can notice any differences from what one side to the other. this quick rebound pose to reset the energy in the body. Okay, and from here we're going to bring our hands under our shoulder, coming up to tabletop to downward facing dog, lifting that right the leg towards the sky, and then stepping our right foot outside from our right hand. So your foot should be at the edge of the mat, putting maybe a blanket or a pillow under your knee, or lowering the knee down to the mat, releasing the toes. Again, your options for the arms are arms extended, forearms down to the mat, or maybe you want to put a couple blankets or pillows. I like putting a couple blankets. Settle into your pose. One side could be different than the other. So if you need a little extra time to adjust, go ahead and then come into stillness. Again, we'll be here for four minutes. Keeping ourselves in the present moment, connecting with the sensations of the body, the breath, the heartbeat. Maybe you can get quiet enough to hear the vibrations in the body. Just watch. If your mind wanders, just gently bring it back. Bring it back to the objects, the sensations of the body. Each time that we realize if our mind is wandering and we bring it back and focus it on the object, or focus is getting stronger. And not only will you see this on the map, but also off the map. One and a half minutes to go, almost there. Keeping that light smile on your face 
It'll help release the side channels at the face, helping you breathe more easily. Slowly extend your arms, maybe moving any props you need to to the side. Curling those right toes under, and we're going to step back to downward facing dog again, just releasing here, maybe walking out the dog a little. And then coming into plank and lowering ourselves to the mat. For our rebound pose, we'll do reverse shavasana. So you can bring your arms to the side and bring your cheek, left cheek down to the mat. Just relax, allowing the energy to re redistribute through the body. And from here, we're going to come up to Sphinx Pose, just bringing our elbows under our shoulders for three minutes here. You can relax your neck, closing your eyes. If you want to go a little deeper, you can extend your arms up, maybe put some props here or bring some blankets under your forearms as well that'll help you go a little deeper into the sphinx pose rather than extending um, all the way to the seal pose so just take your option so this is a nice gentle back bend In the end, you don't want to force your body to go into a particular direction, but you want to allow it to fall into place. So don't strain your neck here, just let it be relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Two more minutes here. Present moment. Try 
going to keep our mind and our energy. There's a famous saying, Lung sem jukta chikpa. Lung prana or energy, sem mind or thought. Jukpa chikpa. Ride together in tandem. So by putting our mind on wisdom and compassion, on thinking about how our reality is created through our speech, our mind, and our thoughts, our mind and our actions, we're able to make more compassionate decisions. Our, our seeds are ripening so fast that it's hard to catch ourselves, but the more we bring our mind and our energy to the subject, the easier it will get. Okay, so now slowly, we're going to come up to tabletop again, moving any props you need to the side. And we'll just do a few cat and cow poses. So inhale, arching the back, exhaling, rounding the back, bringing the chin towards the chest. Inhaling, rounding the back, exhaling, chin to chest. Inhaling, rounding the back. Exhaling, arching the back up. And coming back to center. Our next pose, we're gonna do dangling pose. So here, if you're next to a wall, you're welcome to use the wall as support. We're gonna be doing uh, forward fold. But if you don't have a wall, you can also just fall forward onto any support, or maybe you don't need any. Or if you'd like, you can grab your elbows, even keeping your legs slightly bent. I'm gonna use the wall for my three minutes and a couple of blankets here. Again, coming into stillness, connecting with our present experience, noticing all these sensations that are going on in the stillness and presence. Where is your energy flowing? should be relaxed.
watching and observing the body, listening to any sensations. This is your time to connect with your body. Observe the body, the mind. Giving ourselves a little break from speech. coming down or up. Maybe you're smiling a little more, or feeling a little more energized. Our body holds different energies in different parts of the body. So each pose is activating and moving the energy in a different way. going into frog pose. I like to give a little extra cushioning. So I like to put one blanket in front of my mat and then an extra blanket on my mat going a long ways. And then here we'll be starting from tabletop. Then bring our knees to the side. Bring them just as far as you can. If you need to, you can put some extra cushion in here. And then again, arms extended, or bringing our forearms down, or you can go all the way down. And your feet should be in line with your knees here. And again, finding your option, and then coming into stillness. Maybe closing your eyes. This always helps to go inward. We'll be here for another three minutes. connected with the breath, the heartbeat, the new sensations in the body, maybe noticing the quality of these sensations. Our hips tend to Hold a lot of suppressed emotions. So a lot of these poses are really good for releasing those suppressed emotions. 
if you do get a little emotional, it's totally normal. Also, if you don't, that's fine as well. Just watch what happens for you today. Thirty more seconds here, you're doing great. Slowly coming back up. You can bring one knee in at a time. Coming back to tabletop. Moving any props you need to to the side. And we'll go in for our rebound pose. We'll do about a one minute shavasana here to reset the energy. Just let the body relax. See if you notice any differences from when we started the class. Do you feel your energy refreshed or maybe you're, you feel more like you're getting the toxins out of the body? Stretching a little deeper. Okay, so going to our next pose, we're going to go for a twist. Bringing our right foot to our left, grab your right knee with your left hand, extend your right arm towards the sky, inhale, and exhale, bringing that left knee to the that right knee to the left side, and your right hand, fingertips to the right side, looking past your right fingertips. We'll be here for three minutes. If you need to, you can add a prop under your knee or your shoulder. So here I'm trying to untwist the knots that the right and left side channels are putting on the central channel. We're trying to loosen that knot. See if you could actually feel the knots loosening. Maybe you're feeling more blissful your thoughts are more compassionate.
one more minute here. Slowly come back to the center, release your leg. Just come in for a quick shavasana here. See if you can feel any differences from the right or the left side of the body. Maybe one feels a little lighter, one a little heavier. Let's go on to the other side, bending your left leg, place your left foot on your right leg, grabbing your left knee with your right hand, extend your left arm towards the sky, and then twist, opening like a book, looking past your left shoulder, placing any props that you would need to, maybe under the knee or under the shoulder, and then settling into the pose. Closing the eyes, keeping that light smile on the face. any new sensations in the body. Maybe even noticing the qualities of the sensations now. Two more minutes here. And twisting the side channels. One more minute here. more seconds.
And slowly coming back to center, releasing the leg. And we'll take a rebound pose in Shavasana. Okay, so we'll do two more poses. The next pose is called waterfall pose. So bring your feet together. And we're gonna place them up towards the sky. So if you have a strap, you can use that. Or if you have a wall, you can scooch up to the wall and then bring your legs over onto the wall. And we'll be here for three minutes. It's reversing the blood flow here. Relax the body. This pose is really good for the heart. And also giving the heart a little break. Making it easier to pump all the blood. Reversing the blood flow in the legs. One and a half more minutes here. This pose is also good for preventing or reducing the signs of any varicose veins in the legs. Next to the wall, you take them out of the pose. You can just bend the legs, then come onto your side, and then push up into sitting position. From here, we'll go right into our next pose. We're going to do a reclined open hearted butterfly. So, I like to roll up a blanket here or a towel. You can even use a bolster. And if you have a block, a yoga block, you can just place it behind your heart center. Or if you have a longer prop, like a bolster or a long blanket, place it at the bottom of your spine. And then just recline back, bringing your arms to the side for our last pose before our final Shavasana.
One more minute here. Just relaxing. Feeling that joy of showing up and going through your asana class today, planting beautiful seeds together. to our final Shavasana, just straightening the legs out, bringing your prop out to the side, and lowering down, letting the whole body completely relax. We did it, guys. Just feeling this joy. accomplishment. Relaxing the whole face, the whole body. Maybe moving your neck a little bit side to side. Stretching your arms over your head. Or you're welcome to stay in Shavasana longer if you'd like. Or if you want to come out as we give yourself a nice long stretch, bending the legs and coming onto your favorite side. And then slowly coming back up to sitting position. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Let's finish the class with one big beautiful OM together. Bringing the intention we set at the beginning of the class to our mind. Taking a nice deep inhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.